Okay, everyone, let's have a look at the section C. Um, I think I've typed the Python file up correctly. I don't have access to it, but looks like it's just this. And I've tested it and it's running. Let's try it. Oh, funny. I guess it's on the first guess. Okay. So make the following changes. Yeah, make the following changes to the program. Change the program to display an extra line of output when the user wins, showing the number of guesses. Okay. Um, so I'm going to need. Oh, well, there's already a guess counter there. That's great. Oh, and it's already counting up. So I just need to do print. Let's get the message exactly right. Uh, you took, and then we'll just replace the tree with user guess. Let's test it out. You took three guesses. Great, I did. Okay, the program does not display a message until the user guesses the secret number. Change the program so it displays one of the following messages, a hint to the user. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so um, too low or too high, okay. Um, so, if they're right, that's great. Well, if user guess is less than the secret number, print. Okay, so let's think about this. Um, yeah, that, that's it, isn't it? Then, if what they guess is bigger than this, the secret number, then they've done exactly the opposite. They've guessed too high. Well, okay, let's let's test it out. Four. Oh, I've been lucky again. Okay, let's try again. Four. Your guess is too low. Okay, let's say five. Okay, I'm quite lucky with this game. Okay, four. Oh, win again. Okay, four. Your guess is too low. Five. Congratulations. Am I supposed to be picking numbers one to five? Let's make it more interesting. Let's say 50. 25. Too high. 10. Too low. 15. Too high. 12, too low, 11, oh, too low, 13, too low, 14, then I win. Okay, that seems to be working. Currently, the program has no way of ending unless the user guesses the secret number. Change program so it does not allow the user more than three guesses. This is the value currently being passed into the function. And you'll need to change the loop so that it continues as long as the user's Guess is not equal to the secret number, and the number of guesses is less than max guess allowed. Okay, so we only want three guesses. Um, guess game. Yep, yeah, okay, so that's max guess allowed. User guess. So enter your guess. Oh, good, it already counts up. Guess count plus equals one. Okay, so we'll have our while here, and they're only allowed three guesses. So guess count is less than or equal to max guess count. Okay. Let's give it a run now. One, 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 one. Now I've gotten four guesses because of the zero. One, one, one. Yep. Now we're okay. All right. One, two, three. Never get any bad that time. Okay. So currently the program has no way of ending unless the user guesses the secret number. Change program side does not allow the user more than three guesses. 
Okay. Currently, the number of guesses that the users allowed is hard coded to three. Modify the programs that the users presented with the prop. Enter the maximum number of guesses allowed. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's call it max guesses allowed equals in input. Enter the maximum number of guesses allowed. Why is this? Why is this underline here? Oh, because I cut off something there. Uh, and then we'll pass that through so it's not hard coded. So let's give it a run. Okay, we'd rather have a. That'd be better. Two, one, one. Okay. Two, one. Okay. Currently, the secret number is always between 1 and 5. Modify the program so it prompts the user to enter a difficulty level easy or hard. If the user chooses hard, the number should be between 1 and 100. A value of anything other than hard can be interpreted as easy. Okay, so we'll have to enter the difficulty now. But that has to happen within the function here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. And difficulty equals input. So um, it says a value other than h can be interpreted as easy. So if difficulty equals equals h, then we'll make the upper equal to 100, else the upper equals 5. I assume it's staying as five for easy, so this will be upper. Okay. Do I want to case sensitive? I mean, I would like to make it case, so it's not case sensitive. So I could say two guesses and then hard. I could even put in small h. So 50. Uh, I got it. One in a hundred chance. I can't miss. That's amazing. Two, H, fifty. Too low. Sixty. Yeah, so too low. Okay. Um, modify the code so that you, uh, if the user guessed the number that was already guessed, the following message is displayed. You already guessed this number. Now that's interesting. I think what I would do, I could have something like that, make a, an array or a list. So I'll have guesses equals a list. And then every time they guess, guesses dot append user guess. And um, we want a message. One. Now, what's not clear is, does that count as one of your guesses, though? Modify the code so that if the user guessed the number that was already guessed, the following message is played. You already guessed this number. Okay. One, one, three. Three guesses. So it's still counting it as a guess. Okay, that's better. Easier, I mean. Um... Where should I have this check? Right after we ask it, but before we add it. If user guess, um, I'm going to make it a set instead. I think it 
odd, isn't it? it up. Let's make 10 guesses. Hard. 50. 50. You already guessed this number. 50. You, are, you already guessed this number. And it's too low. 75. 85. 80. 77. 76. 75. Uh, 79. 78. Congratulations, you win. You took 78 guesses. Ah, that's wrong. Because... Let's see, where is that? Why is that wrong? What does it say? You took user guess well it's not user guess it's um guess count I didn't notice that earlier is it mm. okay let's try this again 10 hard 50, 50, 75, 90, 95, 99, 98, 7 guesses. Okay, run it again. 5, easy. One, two, three, four, five, five guesses. And you know what? I'm going to get rid of the dot upper because they never ask for it to be case insensitive. Um, okay. Right, but that's that one. So, what's next for the B part? Okay, well, again, I don't have the file, but there's only two lines in it. Implement a number of guessing game in Python. The game requires the user to guess a random number between 1 and 100, and they're awarded points based on how close they get to the number. You should use comments throughout your program to explain your code. You may wish to reuse some of your code from part A as part of your solution. The game should proceed according to the following sequence. The user's core... Okay, so let's, um, let's follow that. I'll just put on the top of the code from earlier. So, so I can have it in one file when I paste it online. Uh, the user score is set to zero. User score is set to zero. Okay. At the start of every new round, the computer generates a random number between one and a hundred. Okay, so put this code here. Just put this down out of the way. Okay. Right. Import random. I'll put the comment at the end of the line. Import random. Set score to zero. At the start of every new round, the computer generates a random number between one and a hundred. Um, number equals random dot rand int. One and a hundred. The user, the user is then prompted to enter a guess as below. Guess equals in input. Enter your guess. Calculate the difference between the secret number and the user's guess. Okay, we'll call that secret number, and we'll call that user guess. And the difference 
is um, user guess minus secret number. But I'd like to have that as an absolute if I can. Okay, so uh, let's um, put this in. Um, from Matt import um, abs, that's what it's called. Um, as can I do it like this? Uh, minus secret number. Okay. The numbers are then displayed in a meaningful message on a single line as secret number is your guess is 50, difference is 5. Okay. Print. Secret number is 55. Ah, but we don't want a space, so I'll have to maybe concatenate. Message equals secret number is 55. Um, string secret number you guessed 50 string user guess uh, difference is Output message calculates difference, make guess at uh, users, users guess, users guess. And uh, secret random number. Uh -huh. Okay, let's run it so far. Um, let's make this a bit nicer. Okay, oh yes, print message first. Two. Secret number is 58, you guessed two. Difference is 56. Ah, uh, no, I don't want it. don't want it like that. Um, I'll make it an int here. Okay. Secret number is 35, you guessed two. Difference is 33. Okay, let's go to the other side. 30, okay, uh, let's just see, make it smaller, yeah, okay, that seems fine, uh, right, the numbers are spent, the numbers are compared and the score is updated according to the following rules. If the user's guess and secret number are the same, then the score is increased by 100 and the message jackpot. The user's guess is within 20, the secret number. Okay, so now we have to update the score. So we need a score here. If difference equals equals zero, then we have to print the message jackpot. And then user score plus equals um, 100. Okay, if the user scores within 20, 
of the secret number, the user scores increased by 20 and the message is used for 20 points. Now, within 20, I guess could include 20. If the user score is more than 30 away from the secret number, the user score is decreased by 30. Okay, so within 20. Okay. Well, if the difference is less than or equal to 20, print. You score 20 points, and then, of course, user score plus equal 20. Okay, and then if the user score is more than 30, well, if the difference is more than 30 away, you lose 30 points. You lose 30 points, and user score is decreased by 30. At the end of each round of the score, at the end of each round, the score is displayed, and the user is prompted with the message "Play again." Okay, so print. Your total score is "Play again." and then play again. Play again. Yes or no. Okay, let's just see if it's working so far. Um, to guess 25. Secret number is 100, you guess 35, difference 65, you lose 30 points, your total score is minus 30. Play again. Yes, okay, so let's start off by setting again equals yes, so default to play in at least once, while again equals equals yes. Then we can just tap this all. Okay. Right, let's run this. Whoops. Why is this one? going on here. Why is this one? Unresolved reference to RAND. Okay, let's give it a try. 35. Secret number is 4. You guess 35. Difference is 31. You lose 30 points. Play again. Now, should it add to the score or reset it? Let's see. You score 20 points. Total score is 20. Play again. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like the score is, is not reset after each round. So, okay. 
say no. Okay. Now, let's run this. 35. Secret number 67. You guess 35. Difference is 32. You lose 30 points. Play again. Yes. 50. Secret number 63. You guessed 50. Difference is 18. You score 20 points. Play again. 50. You lose 30 points. Play again. 50. You lose 30 points again. Play again. 50. Play again. 50. Play again. 50. Play again. 50. Yes. Play again. Jackpot, you scored 100 points. Your total score is now minus 60. Um, I think that's okay. The game ends when the user enters anything other than the single letter Y. I'd like to, um, it's always good to end with a quick thing. Just have the two files here. Right. Um, I think that's okay. But maybe add in more comments. So, jackpot, um, close, and um, too far away. Mm. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's a bit late now, 11 o'clock, so there might be some mistakes in it. Any problems? Let me know. Okay, let's leave the video there.